Uh, thanks, uh, Andrew, for inviting me. So I still remember the adventures we had uh, in China uh, working on sustainable programs. Yeah, so today I think I'm sharing the uh, water uh, from an ethnic uh, Chinese uh, perspective. Huh? So different cultures, yeah. And, uh, you know, and thank you, Ati. It's a very beautiful um, story on Ganga. Uh, so uh, the universal uh, concept of water uh, you know, water is life, you know, and uh, from a, uh, you know, Chinese perspective, it's, it's um, not that different from other uh, cultures. Yeah. So um, because every ancient uh, civilization uh, started at the river delta, right, because it's very life-giving uh, nature of water. And uh, also uh, the Chinese uh, Taoist uh, way of looking at water, it represents intelligence, wisdom, flexibility, softness, and uh, however, an overabundance of this element is said to cause uh, a lot of difficulty in choosing something or, or sticking with your cause sometimes. Huh? So in some ways, uh, water plays a very a uh, big role for uh, Chinese. Huh? Uh, also, uh, the concept of feng shui, yeah, which is literally uh, wind, water, or Chinese geomancy. Uh, so uh, this is a set of beliefs and, uh, you know, uh, strong held uh, superstition sometimes, yeah, that guide the lives of millions, huh? especially in Southern China. Um, uh, China is, uh, you know, uh, uh, regards water as also part of the uh, five elements that's very important, like uh, five phases uh, that explains uh, a big array of phenomena, um, you know, from cosmic cycles to uh, interaction between uh, internal body organs. Yeah. So, and also the succession of political regimes. Uh, to the uh, medicinal properties of drugs. Yeah. So it's explained through the five elements in which water is one of them. So there's fire, jing mu shui huo tu, fire, water, wood, matter, and earth. Okay. Um, yeah, so as, as you can see, whichever way we look at it, uh, whether nature, um, facts, beliefs, yeah, water occupies a very central role in our lives. Um, for uh, Personally, I like to share, uh, you know, an idiom that, you know, it's uh, something that is um, I personally subscribe to. And, um, yeah, and that is called um, Ying Shui Shi Yuan, which is literally translated drink water think sauce so uh, whenever you drink water you know it's so important to uh, think of the sauce to celebrate the sauce as uh, andrew has set up this topic huh? so uh this this idiom actually uh it teaches uh, gratitude and appreciation of what you've been given or blessed with uh, because you must remember that, uh, you know, where all the good things come from, where the water comes from. So you never, you know, if you uh, should remember where it comes from, where the happiness comes from, you, can, you should never forget that. So it tells us to be very mindful of our roots, you know, of our origins and, you know, remembering, which means not forgetting or not taking for granted. So, um, because when it comes to water, it's just like air, we often take it for granted. Like we can always uh, breathe, we can quench our thirst, but you know, think about what if it's taken away or when you are deprived of it, as what uh, Andrew has mentioned, you know, uh, two billion people around the world without water, you know. Have we thought of that, you know, what happens to us? So, you know, in today's context also, I think the pandemic has uh, altered the lives of everyone, you know, all of us here. 
And、uh, perhaps it's a very good time to take a step back and reflect on the blessings that we have. So even if you look at it、uh, from a climate change angle, which is、uh, so important right now, the the lesson is the same. You know, never take things for granted. Always consider the source, appreciate the source, celebrate the source. So do what we can to preserve water, to preserve the source of water. Um, if you think about it, you know, or sometimes when we hear about water, you know, it may be used in, you know,、um, you know, words of strength like,、uh, you know, maybe hydro、uh, dams or electrical dams, and you know, its strength and power. But water, we we would like to think about it from a very humble angle, you know, and how we should appreciate it. Okay, the water idiom, which is um Yin Shui Si Yuan, so drink water, think source, you know, is a very famous、uh, Chinese idiom, and it it comes from the you know Nan Bei Chao, which is the Northern and Southern Dynasty era, and this is around sixteen hundred years ago. So I wanted to share this、uh, piece of water wisdom. And share how deep rooted water is to the Chinese culture.